Hi everyone. Today in class we're going to be looking at the children's book Shrek by William Stieg as an example of the hero's journey. Now I bet a lot of you have seen the movie. If I were there I'd ask you to raise your hands and say who's seen the movie Shrek or I think there are three of them now. But I wonder how many of you have read the children's book which actually came first. Um, you'll see it's quite different. So we're going to read that and as we read it you need to jot down some notes in your hero's journey packet. So make sure you're on page nine um, where it says map your hero's journey. And then um, where it says text write Shrek, I'm going to go through that column with you. But as we talk, you um, jot down notes about your own book that you're reading independently. So on the second column, write your book title. Okay, while you're doing that, I just want to um, have you notice or think about that at the top of this document, it says, not all texts carry all the traits. When the text doesn't fit the trait, consider what it does instead or why the author made a different choice. Um, so as we read Shrek, we're only going to fill in maybe half of the boxes because it's a short book. It doesn't have everything there. But your book might have more since it's longer. Um, and also think about Star Wars, the great example of the hero's journey, which I think has every single one. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind. All right, so here we go. Shrek by William Stieg. His mother was ugly and his father was ugly, but Shrek was uglier than the two of them put together. By the time he toddled, Shrek could spit flame at full 99 yards and vent smoke from either ear. With just a look, he cowed the reptiles in the swamp. Any snake dumb enough to bite him instantly got convulsions and died. One day, Shrek's parents hissed things over and decided it was about time their little darling was out in the world doing his share of damage. So they kicked him goodbye and Shrek left the black hole in which he'd been hatched. Shrek went slogging along the road, giving off his awful fumes. It delighted him to see the flowers bend aside and the trees lean away to let him go by. Okay, let's stop for a second and skip to number five. We're going out of order. So um, number five is the threshold. We've talked about this before. The hero must leave his or her familiar life behind to begin a journey toward adulthood and life transformation. So you write, Shrek's parents kick him out of the black hole. When he leaves that black hole and he starts walking through the forest, that's his threshold. Um, if you need more time, you can pause the recording or I'm just going to keep going. So in a shady copse, he came across a witch. She was busy boiling bats in turpentine and turtle juice. And as she stirred, she crooned, this is the way I cook my bats, stir my bats, taste my bats, season my bats in the morning, stew and brew and chew my bats, diddle and fiddle and faddle my bats early in the morning. What a lovely stench, Shrek cackled. The witch specialized in horrors, but one single look at Shrek made her woozy. When she recovered her senses, Shrek said, Tell my fortune, madam, and I'll let you have a few of my rare lice. Splendid, crowed the, crowed the witch. Here's your fortune. Ochki pochki, itchki pitch. Pay attention to this witch. A donkey takes you to a knight. Him you conquer in a fight. Then you wed a princess who is even uglier than you. Ha 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 and cockadoodle. The magic words are apple strudel. A princess, Shrek cried. I'm on my way. So let's stop. And then for number three, the call to adventure. Destiny calls often from someone quite ordinary, taking the hero away from a normal life. So uh, Shrek's call to adventure. It could be that the witch predicts Shrek will wed a princess. That's his destiny. Um, you could argue that it was also when his parents kicked him out. And also there's a little, there's another little thing that the witch is not someone quite ordinary. Um, but Shrek, however, is someone quite ordinary and the hero's journey often works like that, where it's just somebody from humble beginnings gets called to an adventure. Stop this recording if you need more time or let's keep going. Soon he came upon a peasant singing and scything. You there, varlet, said Shrek, why so blithe? The peasant mumbled this reply. 
I'm happy scything in the rye. I never stop to wonder why. I hone and scythe until I die, but now I'm busy, so goodbye. Yokel, Shrek snapped. What have you in that pouch of yours? Just some cold pheasant. Pheasant, peasant, what a pleasant present. The last thing the peasant saw before he fainted was Shrek's glare warming up his dinner. Shrek ate and moved on. Wherever Shrek went, every living creature fled. How it tickled him to be so repulsive. Fat raindrops began sizzling on Shrek's hot knob. Did you ever see somebody so disgusting, said Lightning to Thunder. Never, Thunder growled. Let's give him the works. Lightning fired his fiercest bolt straight at Shrek's head. Shrek just gobbled it, belched some smoke, and grinned. Lightning, thunder, and rain departed. In high spirits, Shrek stalked on. At the edge of the woods, he found a warning nail to a tree. Harken, stranger, shun the danger. If you plan to stay the same, you'd best go back from whence you came. Shrek, of course, swaggered white right past. Um, I want to stop here for a second and note that part of the hero's journey means you have to change emotionally. So this part is telling us, oh, he's going to change. And if you look towards the end of the chart, there is a place to fill in about his change. So just keep that in mind. So if you plan to stay the same, you best go back from whence you came. But Shrek keeps going. And sure enough, a little way into the woods, a whopper of a dragon barred his path. Shrek smiled and bowed. The dragon slammed him to the ground, but Shrek just lay there. He was amused. The irascible dragon was preparing to separate Shrek from his noggin, but Shrek got him between the eyes with a putrid blue flame. The poor dragon thudded over, unconscious for the day. All right, so I would put this under number seven, Heroic Deeds, where um, I put Shrek conquers the dragon, but he doesn't sacrifice himself for others. Because if you look over here, usually there's a willing willingness to sacrifice self for others. Not sure that that's what was happening here. Another heroic deed might be when he gobbled lightning um, and laughed at thunder. Um, but just, you know, in the hero's journey, there will be several challenges along the way before they get to the big final challenge. Again, stop this recording if you need more time, or let's keep going. An hour later, Shrek himself was unconscious. Let me get this closed. An hour later, Shrek himself was unconscious. He had fallen asleep along the way. He dreamed he was in a field of flowers where children frolicked and birds warbled. Some of the children kept hugging and kissing him, and there was nothing he could do to make them stop. He woke up in a daze. I have to move this babbling like a baby. It was only a horrible dream. Shrek wandered on. He was wondering if he'd ever meet his princess when he saw a donkey grazing. Was this the donkey the witch had foretold? Shrek hurried over and tried the magic words. Apple strudel. The donkey raised his sleepy eyes and brayed. I gaze in the green, as I gaze in the green, seeking out the clover. I laze and spend my days in the green, a chewing, chomping rover. You jabbering jackass, Shrek screamed. Aren't you supposed to take me somewhere? I am to the nutty knight who guards the entrance to the crazy castle where the repulsive princess waits. Then take, Shrek shrieked, and he hopped onto the donkey's back. So I think this part is the guide, a wise and helpful guide, provides advice and inspiration to further the quest. And so um, I wrote Shrek meets Donkey, who is destined to take him to the princess. And um, some people might argue that this is an ally. So you can think about that yourself because that's another box on the um, chart. But I, I think he's more of a guide in this story. <laughs> 